Hello. Today I want to talk to you about something, a word that can mean lots of things, but a word that I think or a concept that I think has been vilified, particularly by Stoic traditions, by many religions, many spiritual and religious traditions have considered desire a problem. Desire as something that we should get rid of. Desire as something that is not desirable <laughs> and that is part of our route to, to sin and to difficulties and problems and things that shouldn't be, like for example pleasure, that is another one that has been very much vilified and you will find that one of my videos deals with that. But today I want to say to you that in my view desire moves the world. Desire is as if the world has is still, our world is still and nothing is happening and we are not going anywhere and we haven't got the will to achieve certain things, we haven't got the will to move on and suddenly Maybe inspiration comes, or maybe very specifically desire. And let's make sure we don't confuse desire with simply sexual desire, for example, or a desire for carnal pleasure of any description, eating, having sex, anything. That's not the only thing that we desire. We can desire to be better people, we can desire to be more accomplished. We can desire to be less uh, lazy. Whatever we desire, desire it does, is that a spark that moves our world into making us put the will, which is another of my videos, the will into achieving that that we want to achieve. So in my view, desire is a great thing. My name is Patricia Cuberos. If you like what you see, please find me on patreon.com, Patricia Cuberos. You will find my project, How to Grow All the Right Way Up. This video belongs to this project, that is books and videos and um, teaching sessions, whatever I find that is possible to do with this project. And I will be very much grateful for your support and if you just want to say put like that would be very much appreciated also thank you bye bye